expanding brackets and the way we do this so take the example of this first one we start with uh, one of the terms and then we multiply that with all the terms from the other bracket and then when we've done that we move to the next term in the first bracket and repeat the same process so for this first example we'll do x times x that's x squared and then we add x times minus 2 so that's minus 2x now we've multiplied this x with all the terms on this side we move on to the 4 and we get 4 times x that's plus 4x and we get 4 times minus 2 so that's minus 8 and we can join these together and we get x squared plus 2x minus 8 ok here we apply the same technique so we do 4x multiplied by x so that's 4x squared then we do 4x multiplied by 3 that's plus uh, 12x then we do 1 times x plus x and 1 times 3 that's plus 3 so all together that's 4x squared plus 13x plus 3 well, it doesn't matter that we've got x's and y's still the same technique so we have x times x x times minus 1 y times x minus y and we can factorize this if we want if we want to write uh, x squared uh, plus y minus 1 x minus y or we can just leave it like above uh, it doesn't really matter and here we get z times x plus z times minus y so that's minus zy plus x times x, so that's x squared um, plus x times minus y, so that's minus xy and I'm just going to leave that like that because um, there's no real obvious way to factorise it I guess we could have the, the terms involving z and then these x terms but then there's x is involved in this term so it all gets a bit little bit um, it's going to be a little bit messy which, whichever way we write it so we're just going to leave it like that and this one, doesn't matter that there's 3, we still do the same thing. So we start with this term, we multiply across, so x squared times x is x cubed, and then x times 1, well x squared times 1. Right, so now we've multiplied this term, both the terms in here, we move on to the next one. We have 3x times x, so that's plus 3x squared. Then we have 3x times 1, so that's plus 3x. And then we have 1 times x, so that's plus x, and we have 1 times 1, so that's plus 1. And we'll just collect the like terms, so we get that that's equal to x cubed plus 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. Okay, so we've run through all the examples, hopefully this helps you become more fluid with expanding double brackets. I recommend doing lots of practice of this because it comes up in lots of questions either as just a question by itself or um, as part of a larger question you have to be able to do this um, just like adding and subtraction and the like and the more practice you'll do you, you'll often be able to start doing these types of things in your head as well so thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video